Dear friends, welcome to another video. Today we'll try to fix this broken hard drive. This hard drive was inside my laptop for a year and a half and now it is not working. So suddenly I lost all my work because this hard drive stopped working. It just makes some funny noises and it does not work. I have already sent it to a data recovery company in Athens and they try to recover uh, data with software tools but they had no luck and they said to me that they have to open uh, the hard drive and the cost will be very high. So I thought that the data in there are not worth the money that they asked me so I left the hard drive aside and I thought it is completely dead. But after some searching in the internet, I, I, I saw that some people have succeeded to pull their data from broken hard drives like this. Now, that's what we will try today. We will try to open this hard drive and get the data from it. Of course, then it will be not uh, useful for work in that hard drive because it won't work for a long time. Uh, but luckily, we are going to recover the files that we need from this hard drive. But first of all, let's hear how it sounds. I will plug it in in an external um, case for hard drives. Let's see. That's the sound it makes. Let's do it again. I will now plug it in to my computer and hear the sound. It seems that it cannot spin correctly. It makes a sound like it's not spinning. So, I think that the head is stuck and all we have to do is to unstuck it. Let's try it. In order to open the hard drive case we are going to need a Tab6 screwdriver. You can find it online in many places. I'll put a link in the description of the video where you can buy it. Let's start very very carefully. Okay, now I have removed the six screws that is visible and there must be another one that is invisible and it is under this label. And um, if you remove this screw, your warranty is void, of course, because that's, it, that's why it's in there. Let's find it. Okay, I'll take it off. Okay, that's the last screw. Let's unscrew it. Okay, all screws are gone. Now, open it at your own risk. I'm not responsible of any data loss that you have. Okay, very, very careful now. Oh. Look, the head is stuck, we have to go it back to its original position. In order to do that, we have to be very careful. We have to turn the head counterclockwise, it normally turns this way, clockwise, we have to turn it counterclockwise and at the same time moving the head to the right. Let's do it. Okay, I found what screw it is. It's a tough 5 in my case that we have to use in order to turn this hard drive. Okay, very careful now. 
I'm going to use a tough 5 screw, turn it counterclockwise and at the same time I'm going to move the head to the right. Okay, that's it. Let's close it and try it. Okay, we are back in the computer. This time I have connected the hard drive in my desktop because, because it is easier to use. And as you can see, it is visible in the Windows Explorer, but I cannot access it because it says it is destroyed or it cannot be read. The first time that the that Windows booted, the disk was visible and the files were visible as well. But uh, when I tried to copy the files in my other hard drive, the system crashed because I think of bad sectors in the hard drive and I had to reboot. The next time I reboot, the disk is visible but the files cannot be seen. But I have found another software in order to recover some of the files of the disk. Let's see. Okay, I have now loaded ESAS Data Recovery Wizard Professional, which is a great tool in order to recover files from a hard drive. Each time you use your hard drive after you have opened it, you lose files. So do this at the, at the first time you open your drive. I did some other stuff because I didn't know it and I have lost some of the files, but if you do that at the first time you open your file, you'll have many files available. Now, we have to check local disk D for files, and we are going to stop the quick procedure and use the deep scan instead, because we want to find the more files possible. This procedure is very slow. The first time I did it, it took me around 10 hours, I think. I, wa I was able to find most of my files. I recovered them. And now this is the second time I do this. And I do it on camera to show it to you. And that's why it won't find as many files as it did in the first time. So, when you open your hard drive, Use a software like this, you can try it for free, find your files. If you are satisfied with the results, you can buy the software and recover your files. Two and a half hours later, I have stopped the software from running because it has already found my most of my files. Look, this is the hard drive folders, all here. This is the users folder and my username uh, that I was using in the computer. Look, all my data is here. I can click this button here or I can select any folder that I want to recover and I can press recover and you can save it to your hard drive. But you can press recover if only if you have bought the software. Uh, so let's look what this software has found by type. Look, let's see some JPEGs. As you can see, it has live preview. You can see the thumbnails and recover any of it. Okay, recover. That's it. The file has been successfully recovered and it's in my external hard drive. Okay, I can open it and see it. Okay, let's now see other type of files it has found. Let's go to documents and open a PDF file, for example. Let's see, PDF. PDFs are here, okay. For example, let's open <coughs> the BMP 180 datasheet. That was in my hard drive. Okay, it is now recovered. Let's open it. As you can see, it is here fine it is it's impressive how easy it is to recover files from a broken hard drive okay what else let's um, go 
Ah, okay, let's search for um, some other files. I will search for files uh, with a file extension of .ino for some Arduino project I had. Okay, okay, that's my weather station project. Okay, recover. That's it. Everything is here intact. Impressive. Okay, that's how easy it is to recover your files by searching, by type, by path. Everything is here. It's impressive. But of course, some files I think there will be damaged, but most of it is everything is here. So the procedure is almost over. We have successfully recovered almost all of the files, most of the files. Uh, at least most of the files I wanted to recover, it's there intact. And uh, it was a successful operation. It was not that hard to do. Uh, but of course, if your data is valuable, don't try to do it yourself, please. Send your hard drive to a specialized uh, technician to recover your files with guarantee. If you open your hard drive, it is very probable that you break it beyond, beyond repair. If you have some data that are not so valuable, but you don't have anything to lose by damaging your hard drive, you can do it at your own risk. It works. You can see it works. I used ESA's data recovery wizard to recover the data in my damaged hard drive. You can find the link for the program in the description of the video. You can buy it. It costs around um, $70 and it works fine as you can see. And uh, please be careful with your data recovery. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked, press like below and subscribe to our channel for more videos about do-it-yourself project. Thank you very much.